I looked, you know, I always looked at John of God as, as like having the Christ energy coming through him. Because I, I felt an energy that resonated with me. I felt an energy that came to me that I'd never felt before. And I could feel the power of it because it made me want to lie down. It made me want to go to sleep. And when we receive a really high energy frequency, that's usually what our body does, whether it's from solar flares or or from the full moon, full blood moons and um, planets um, or healers or God himself working through any other person uh, that, you know, that that we're drawn to to receive a message, which is can be anyone. Um, I, I marveled at that energy because it felt wonderful. And sleeping and lying down when you get this energy is your body's integrating. Because the truth is that energy frequency is working on a very high level, on, on, on a very high subconscious level. Information exchange can go on when you're in that high level of vibrational frequency. And if you have never experienced it, then it's a mystery to you. You don't know it. And you can only guess at it. But that energy and that frequency is saved for those souls who seek after the spirit kingdom. If you've never sought after the spiritual kingdom and your thoughts are cynical and you don't believe in God, you're as far away from God as you can with your cynicism. If you listen to negativity, if you thrive on the demise, the, 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 if, you, if you delight in the demise of others, if you make it that your, your life work to bring other people down, to hurt them, to gossip, to, to, to ruin their character, to slander them, you're not going to understand John of God at all. You're not going to get it. You're going to look at it and poke at it and see the negative because it's what you're there to see and you'll find it. You can find anything you look for. But if you decide that you're going to see the good, see the God, you'll find that too. So what, what, what bothered me the most is it hurt all of us. That's what bothered me the most. Good people that went to see him, that, that went in trust and hope, are being hurt by this. And that's what makes me um, want to speak up. Because I would urge you not to fall into the fear and doubt, not to lower your frequency and listen to all the naysayers and listen to all the things that are being brought up and believe them. Do not give them your belief. Hold your belief. Um, hold your belief in the good. That, that takes strength. That takes courage because uh, John of God and everyone who's went to, went to him is pretty much in the line of fire right now. And you've done nothing more than believe in something good. Keep believing in the good. Keep believing in the God because God is always with us. And sometimes in our darkest hour, and sometimes when we are hurting and, and afraid, afraid that we've made a mistake, that we'll be labeled a fool, we can hear all that doubt and negativity and we might fall our, find ourselves falling in frequency. So don't listen to the negative. 
hang on to the positive. Hang on to what you know. Hang on to what you learned. Hang on to the good you received and thank God for it. And thank God that everything will work out. And thank God that the truth will be revealed. And thank God that you had that wonderful experience and that you had that as part of your journey. Yeah, hang, hang, hang on to that. That's one of the best parts of my journey, being in that energy. So I just wanted to add that on because that's how I really felt. And the only reason I made this video is because one of my friends, like I said, from France said, Sandra people are lost. And that bothers me more than anything to see God's people feeling lost. So find your faith. Remember that good and look for the God in what happens here because it'll show up. Thank you.